Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the Blend ICS ROM. Uh, very, very awesome ROM actually. I ran it for a little while and it's running great. So, uh, first of all, a uh, big shout out and thanks to Team Nocturnal as well as MIJJAH74. Don't want to butcher his name, so I'm just going to spell it out. So, big shout out to him. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. I will link to that in the description of the video. But anyways, here we go. It is an ice cream sandwich based ROM based off of the leaked build FC06. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and check out the lock screen. Lock screen it would be just like the stock, uh, the leaked build where you press and hold it anywhere and it brings up uh, option to swipe outside the circle and it unlocks. So that's kind of cool. Very nice black and white background that comes with this ROM. You can obviously customize that to your liking. I'm gonna go to system settings, scroll down, go to about phone. And as you can see, Android version 4.0.3, ice cream sandwich, and blend ICS 1.8. So um, I am running the ROM, obviously. Nice blue over scroll glow, which kind of goes well with the theme. It is themed more so ice cream sandwich, as opposed to that touch was theme, of course. As you can see, nice black and white settings menu, which is different. Uh, with nice blue tint lines to them uh, but i mean pretty much everything works uh, you're only it's really not going to have any bugs whatsoever um signal bars are, are kind of goofy but that's just because of the leak uh but i mean you're really not going to run into any bugs everything works including gps mms text messaging picture messaging um, i mean everything works so that's really great that uh, they got all of it working i actually do want to make a note that GPS worked without even doing the little trick that I posted earlier today, actually, or yesterday, um, about where you get a lock on a gingerbread ROM and then install this ice cream sandwich ROM and it GPS should work. I didn't do that and GPS works great. I actually got a lock in like three seconds. So it works great, uh, which is awesome. So um, it's also awesome that they theme this more so ice cream sandwich, I kind of like that. Well, let's get into some more things. Of course, you have three launcher options. You have Apex Launcher, the Stock Launcher, as well as Nova Launcher. Um, they all are pretty similar. Um, obviously, they're made to emulate the Stock Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher. Apex has a little more fe features than Nova Launcher. Um, you're, you're gonna have to try them both yourself. I'm not gonna run through. I'm on Nova Launcher at the moment. You can go to Nova Settings. There's Desktop Settings, Drawer Settings, Dock Settings gestures, which I believe you have to pay for, um, behavior and backup. So you got a bunch of settings right there, as well as a lot of settings in the Apex launcher. So, I mean, they're very comparable. I believe Apex has a little bit more, um, a new version is available in the market. I'm not gonna download that at the moment, but I mean, home screen, drawer, dock, folder, etc. So, I mean, you do have it's very similar settings, such as uh, basically transition animations and such. When you scroll through home screens, it's kind of up to you what you how you want to uh, how you want to edit the home launcher. So I mean, you got your dock bar being able to scroll through. So you have a bunch of options, folders, of course, since it is an ice cream sandwich ROM with your ice cream sandwich launcher, which is great. Uh, other things that I want to point out, it does have two messaging applications, so keep that in mind. One of the reasons they do that is because one of them is actually a custom application. I believe you can get it from the market. I'm not positive, though, but uh, it, it's made to look more like the uh, stock ice cream sandwich application. Let me go to settings in the messaging app. So, I mean, you have all your normal settings, so you'll have to shut one of them off if you don't want to. You can always use Titanium Backup to uninstall the other one that you don't want. But uh, just kind of pointing that out, as you can see, you do have the stock application as well. So, I mean, you have both stock application is, is themed as well. So that's kind of nice. Uh, keyboard wise, you have, um, I believe the basically stock themed ice cream sandwich keyboard. It is themed black, which is kind of cool, black and white themed. Um, as you can see, you got uh, your word prediction and such. You have, let's see what else you have. You have Samsung keypad as well as, well as Google voice typing. Let's try Google voice typing. Hello, how are you doing? There you go. So typing, hello, how are you doing? So it's kind of nice that uh, that works very well. As you can see, it was pretty much as I said it, the words popped up. So that works great. Um, I did text Google here. So in case you were wondering who I was texting, obviously you can attach all these files. So you have two messaging apps to choose from. Um, I believe you have two galleries as well to mess with if you want to check those out. Uh, overall, you do have Google Chrome beta on there. Um, which it says critical functionality required to run Chrome is missing. Your Chrome installation is incomplete. So I don't know what that means, but uh, I mean, you can uninstall it and try reinstalling it from the market. It is pretty unstable. So I'd recommend staying away from Chrome beta for now. 
just because it is so goofy. But as I said, everything works. GPS, Wi-Fi, 4G, everything works. I mean, uh, it's definitely uh, great that uh, this ROM has pretty much everything working. So definitely a ROM to check out if you have an Epic 4G Touch Torch application, which will turn on the LED light, I believe, if, after I accept it. So there you have it. So you got that application, you got your Wi-Fi tether application as well, Google Voice. Up at the top of the notification bar, let's go ahead and check that out real quick. As you can see, nice stock ice cream sandwich battery icon right there. It's theme blue, the clock is blue. 3G icon uh, up there, I believe it lights up. I don't know what it lights up. Let's go ahead and see. It lights up blue actually, as I would have guessed. Lights up blue, let's go ahead and swipe down. As you can see, themed icons up here, they're white. They light up blue when you select them. So if I wanna turn on GPS, as you can see, it lit up blue, which is great. Uh, I mean, uh, you have your settings menu right here where you can go straight to settings. As you can see, it hops right into settings, which is very nice. So there you go, um, you got that option as well. It's actually a very smooth, if you haven't noticed, it's very smooth, very snappy. Sorry about that, let me go ahead and zoom. Um, but overall, this ROM is great, running very well. Um, I mean, I've, I've had no issues whatsoever with it. Press and hold the power button. I believe you can hit restart and have it, oh, I guess not. So I, <laughs> whoops, I would have thought it might have popped up a, an options menu, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this reboot and I'll be back. All right, I am sorry about that, guys. I'm booted back up. Uh, it boots up very quickly. Um, so other things I did want to point out, let's go ahead and check out the dialer. Nice theme, nice dark background, ice cream sandwich icons for the numbers. Um, that is themed. It does have Beats Audio included, the Beats Audio modification built into it, so you should get nice sound coming out of the headphone jack. Uh, other things that it does have, um, it does have uh, recovery. So you do have Clockwork Mod Recovery, Custom Recovery, uh, with this ROM so you can flash a gingerbread ROM back and, and stuff you don't have to Odin back to gingerbread to get uh, your gingerbread ROM back which is great that it now has your custom recovery built into the ROM so don't have to worry about that you have your CRT screen off animation as I'm sure you guys noticed so that's kind of nice it does have face unlock mine might not show up I believe because I'm not signing into my Google account I don't know if it, sign it shows up or not but uh, face unlock will be will be there. So there you have it, face unlock is there. I'm not gonna test it out, but uh, face unlock is there, which is great. Uh, other things, I mean, that's, that's really about it. That's pretty much everything. They remove the camera sound, so it's not gonna make a noise even, um, it's not gonna make a noise when you take a picture, which is great, because that's a really, really an annoying feature on, on here. So other than that, I mean, it, it has the Play Store instead of the Market, which I really don't understand why they changed it, but uh, that's another topic. But anyways, you have Play Store, which is the Android Market, of course. Um, but yeah, that's that's really about it. I mean, you have, uh, it looks like it ends. You can't scroll over to your widgets. You have to press the widget button up at the top. You've got your widgets. You can resize certain ones. So, so there you have it. I mean, that's a, a full review of the Blend ICS ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video below. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.